You guys, hello, welcome back to number six with cheese. Today, we polled you guys, P-O-L-L-E-D, of uh, what we should do for today's video, and you guys voted on the Arby's returning Wagyu steak burger. We're gonna snag two of them. Yeah, guys, and also doing a Patreon shout out for Chris Catan. Uh, she's a huge supporter of the channel. She just signed up for the $10 tier. To me, it's the best way to support us. It lets us know the um, the amount of money that we can kind of play around with every month. And it's really been shrinking. And it'd be a huge help to kind of beef that back up. We try to give you guys tiers that you guys will enjoy early episodes. Money off of merch. And then you can also get access to old merch. If you want this shirt or this shirt, that's going to be on there. So depending on the tier that you want, please, please, please support us. It's been dropping. And uh, that really, really, really makes the show uh, be able to survive because it's you, you don't know how many donations you're gonna get a month and we don't make much on AdSense so if you can go on Patreon they don't take as much money as YouTube takes so much money Patreon takes so little money uh, please please if you want to help the show that's a great place to do it so thank you so much Chris and everyone else who supports us on Patreon all right now Arby's in the loop downtown Chicago let's go Shh. Okay, a couple of the Wagyu steak burgers in that bag from Arby's acquired jump cut. All right, you guys are there. This is a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got. We got the Arby's little tin foil thing here. Open it up. That you got right there is brioche bun. Boom, little shredded lettuce. Maybe some man, no, Parmesan peppercorn ranch. I do believe on there. We got some tomatoes. They look like particularly disgusting ones. <laughs> Actually not so bad, a little bit mushy, actually not as bad as I thought on first glance. We're just going to give them a drop instead of a toss today. Roll the window up, too much traffic, don't want to hit anybody. Okay, we've got bacon, we've got American cheese, we've got pickles on the underneath side there. Red onions, more of the peppercorn, or Parmesan peppercorn ranch. And then, yeah, this is that Wagyu beef patty, steakhouse burger patty. So there, there she is, ladies and gents. How much was this bad boy? This was uh, nine and some change for the burger alone. Wow, okay. It's an expensive guy. This is actually our third time doing a version of this burger. Well, what do you know? <laughs> I just imagine Americans. Yeah, I've had Wagyu before. Sure have. I've tried Wagyu. <laughs> We're at Arby's. <laughs> You know the place known for roast beef? And then real quick on the big camera, we got it. If you want the angle, keep tuning in. Uh, here it is. <laughs> Not looking particularly great, but we'll see. All right, Arby's Wagyu Steakhouse Burger, the bacon and cheddar version. Bacon ran ranch. Bacon, the bacon ranch version. Cheers. Cheers. My first bite's pretty good. It's got a good flavor profile. I like the fresh red onions. I was gonna say, I feel like a lot of burger places don't use red onion. It's mm -hmm. always a white, so I do appreciate that. It does have a little more zip of flavor. Oh, it's so flavorful. I love red onion. For people who don't like onion, that's probably a little bit much for them, the red onions. Wow, that bacon bite was actually pretty good. It's actually really onion flavored. This one has good onion. Red onion, funny enough, not red, purple. <laughs> purple onion. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's still, like, it's not, there's a lot of stuff on it. I still feel like there's still not as much flavor as I think there'd be. Like, I think all this stuff on it, I feel like I would get more, it still feels a little bland to me. I Man, dude, I got a good one. My bites are packed, and I'm biting straight into red onion, which is, yeah. you know how many times lately I've been such a little onion boy? <laughs> yeah. Mine's flavorful, so I'll get out. I'm gonna put a little Sixer sauce. 803 calories you're taking down in one little quick sitting. That's the burger alone. Damn near after tax, like 10 bucks a burger with no side is like, mm -hmm. insane. kind of nuts. But I mean, they're out there masseusing the, the cow. <laughs> they're out there really getting deep tissue. Mm -hmm. Just really, the knuckles are getting their work done. I mean, my build, I don't know about your build, but I got so much sauce. Sauce on the top, sauce on the bottom. Cheese is very melted, and they the red onions are great. This, honestly, for mine, doesn't really need the hot sauce. I'm just a hot sauce fanatic, so I'm throwing it on there. 
there, but that sucks that you didn't get much flavor because I got flavor loaded on yeah, mine. Yeah, it's just tasting like muted to me. Yeah, this is the first sign of COVID you're seeing here, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Not a bad burger by any means, mm -mm. but like this was once again, I would only ever get this for the show. For a single patty, not too thin. Definitely have some girth to it. I like my burgers like my, like my ladies. I don't want too thin. I don't like the anorexic <laughs> ones. That's my personal preference. <laughs> I want a little meat on there and this one's got it. Well, I think for me, my big hang up, I just don't like the false advertising. Not that it's false, it's Wagyu. It's not like you're eating a fancy burger. No, it doesn't taste truly any different to me than a other, regular burger. Like I would never, if, if you lined up like different patties from different restaurants, I don't think I'd be like, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think yeah. I would really be like, wow, no, this is an upgrade. Yeah, whoa, wow, they masseused that meat. <laughs> yeah. No, I wouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. If they just came out and were like, hey, awesome burger. They just call it the awesome burger. Honestly. Because I'm really digging this flavor profile. Yeah, it's a little bit much, but nowadays, new burgers are all a little bit much of the fast food chain. It's on the higher end of that spectrum. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I like said, you got a bland it's one. not like bad. It's just, I thought it'd be like popping a little more with all that stuff. I mean, everything you yeah. made, there's so many ingredients. And peppercorn ranch, I mean, that sounds fantastic. That's another one that I'm not getting into the peppercorn. I will say that. Yeah. I, I got like a small, the smallest little baby hit, like a tickle, like a breeze on the butthole. You can see. Like just a little, <laughs> just a little, it's a little tiny one, but I didn't get a ton of flavor, but peppercorn generally is a pretty flavorful punch in the it face. Is. You can thing. see a little, you can actually see some little black specklings on here in the sauce. So like I'm seeing it. I'm just not getting hit in the face oh, with the overload of peppercorn that I'd like. As I say that, I take the most sauced out bite and I actually dig a little bit of it. Good. But still. Look, I want Breeze you on the butthole. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it still wasn't as big as I wanted. I can do it without the lettuce. Shredded lettuce adds no, nothing to the game to me. No, not at all. I like your idea. Like I feel like if they just did like a $5 burger, like for just like, it's more simple. They don't need all this stuff on it. Arby's just did kind of like a banger burger. Well, that wasn't my idea. And you say like if they did more of a basic burger? No, I hope I'm, this is how I talk. I talk like an idiot and then no one knows what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Remember I said, I feel like I've been misled on the mm -hmm. Wagyu of it. Yeah. I think that they just misnamed it. I'm expecting Wagyu me. That's what I meant okay, by calling so it the awesome burger. Do all these sauces and don't okay, have to have re Wagyu Same thing, on there. rename it. Man, I suck at describing what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm here's an idiot. So not, not, not your I'm idea. sorry guys, I, I'll let you down. I'm sorry if I misled all you folks like that, but I hope I, I hope, I hope you guys understand what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up a different thing then. I wish they just did just a, good burger like they don't have to like put all the stuff on it do the wagyu i wish it was just cheaper and saying. kind of a quicker sling it is a good burger yeah but you do want like a small yeah i just don't get the lighting on this this guy is dripping with juices like look how sauced up this guy is i'm so yeah that little bite's gonna be nice it's my whole, my whole burger's been like this dude I got lucky where they were like slopping it together, mm -hmm. but not in a way that does less sauce, in a way that does more sauce. Like, well, well. Yeah, and it and wasn't you know? and it wasn't overdone where it's like sometimes you get a real drippy sucker. Seems like they mm -hmm. did it right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, just kind of things kind are turning around. Swing for a cord I'm glad. A little swing and a miss for me. That's just that didn't do really anything for me to be honest. There's a tale as old as time from the fast food world. Mm-hmm. The consistency ain't there. We got our burgers made back to back. Mine made like a, well, they might have just eyeballed me and said, this guy needs a good one. <laughs> it looks like his life's been going south for a while. And they knew which one you'd grab mm -hmm. out of the bag. They had a sense. It's kind of like how magicians know what card you're going to pick. Absolutely. You uh, can set the deck just right. That's crazy how much that has happened with us. Like, the same exact order and one is different. Mm -hmm. Like, more often than I would have thought that would happen. I'll go as far as to say it's a damn shame, Sean. It's a damn shame. But I'll rebound from this. Like, no. I'm not going to let this affect my day. I hope it takes I'm gonna put you. one foot in front it, of the I other. It, I hope it ruins you. <laughs> well, that's really rude because I would like to have a great day. It's a beautiful day here in Chicago. Damn, that was sick though. That was like them trying to make my my burger. All right, guys, now that we're back in the States, we're gonna get a couple of super thanks shout outs for you fine, fine fools. Here you go. We've got $2 from Mr. Derek Boudreaux. We've got Derek Boudreaux, again, this time a 10 banger. And then a Derek Boudreaux for three in a row. Ooh. This one for two. We love you. There you go. Rhymed there. it and uh, that when we just dined it. I was like, <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> he ain't slowing. I love He's about to start blowing. <laughs> Whoa. I love when poems end in beads. <laughs> yeah, click that little um, money sign button if you want a super thanks, you get a shout out in the video, so. Um, all right, well, before we get the whiteboards out, quick little breakdown of it, then we'll rate it. What do you think? Uh, dude, I mean, it's, it's, it's up in the air. It depends on where you go. It depends on who gives you the build. The mine was saucy as all get out. The cheese was melted great. Bacon didn't do anything for me. The price was on the high end where it was like a kind of annoying, I'd say. Uh, all in all, I, I thought the flavor was good. The Wagyu 
couldn't tell the difference. So if you're getting it because you're thinking Wagyu, so a little bit off for the, the not false advertising, but kinda. It's not actually like doesn't really feel like it's a Wagyu steak. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's that's kind of that's kind of what I got for you guys. I'm gonna be a little more um, upsetting uh, about this than I well, probably you got should. Well, you got a bad product. I got a bad product. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go out on a limb and say this. Gotta I am it. sick and tired of this burger. I don't want to review it anymore. I don't want to eat it anymore. I don't want to see ads for it anymore. I'm so I just it's so misleading. It's so misleading. It's overpriced. Oh. It's it's tricking the American public. I don't oh, like wow. that. And I'm glad that we can use our little platform we have here, so I can tell you. Don't even risk it. Don't get that. Just I'm. It's there's better burgers in the fast food world for less money. You don't need to try Wagyu Steakhouse burgers from Arby's. I'm just yeah. gonna say it. Yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna be super opinionated today. Yeah. I don't let them have it. I didn't like eating. Hey, that. you know what? If you get a bad product, let them know. That was a waste of calories. But anyways, let's rate it. Let's rate it. All right, Ugh, Alex Trebek, bump that. Thank you. All right, I know exactly where I'm going with this. It's going to be right here. It's price influenced. Boom. I'm Dumb. feisty today. Dumb. I don't like it. Cut it off. All right, on the count of three, rate your burger out of five. Corey, one, two, three. What up? 2.9. Wow. I got a pretty good one. That was your exact score last time. Well, see, I'm a consistent That's man. That's consistent I'm a as consistent hell. Man. Mine went down. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. Alright guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Quick question for you. What do you think the price should be for new burgers being released? Just out of curiosity, let's see what it is. And uh, I mean, we're the pros at it. We order these all the time. So we'll we'll be curious to see like how yeah. close they are to the average. A la carte, no sides, no drinks. Which just, is probably going to be sandwich. difficult for people. We're the only people who order only sandwiches. But hey, they'll figure it out. Alright guys, we love you. We'll see you soon. Peace.